Well, good evening, as the Count would say. It is December, um, what is it? December the 10th. God, this year's gone quickly, you know? It's December the 10th, journal number 247. It should be T plus 252, but I'm hoping to figure that out for sure tomorrow. I think I may have missed a day somewhere in there. Um, today was, today was, you know, <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been racing around getting all kinds of stuff done that I wasn't able to get done before when, um, when I was in the midst of computer hell, the seventh level of computer hell, and finally got everything straightened out. So I have, I have machines that work now and I'm really excited. So I'm trying to get back on track with everything that I had to do. And today was, a uh, a really interesting day. And I'll tell you why. Um, as many of you know, I write. I write a lot. I've been writing for a long time, since 1985. Um, started in, in January of 1985. The first column went in in March of 1985. Um, actually started writing before that, but didn't get anything published. So... <laughs> I became a trade journalist in, in 1985. So I started to figure out the other day, um, and I'll tell you why I started to figure it out in a minute. So the suspense is going to have to grab you for a, a second. I started to figure out that I started writing columns for Motor Service Magazine and Hunter Publishing and for Service Station Management and for Jobber and Warehouse Executive, three different man uh, magazines in that stable of publishing. Um, companies. And, uh, and I did that for probably 10 or 11 years. But I've continually written for the industry for that time. So I sat down and I figured out that that was 408 times 12 or almost 5,000 columns without the extra columns for the 10 years. So I've, I've written over 5,000 columns of an average of about 1,000 words a column. So that's 5 million words, not counting. I, think about that for a second. That's 5 million words and um, eight manuals and one novel. So I have a lot of respect for the, uh, for the written word. I love to read. Um, and aver uh, read av avariciously. Um, and I enjoy, I enjoy the written word. And, and I made my, my living, uh, at least part of my living earlier, uh, started my career really as a, as a keynote speaker and, uh, and then doing presentation work and keynotes and, and uh, seminar facilitation and all kinds of, of different um, different tasks and different projects that included speaking before large groups of people. So I have a great deal of, of respect for the spoken word as well. And I'm really excited because I got my first audio file for misfire, what to do when things aren't running on all cylinders today. And I was able to go ahead and, and uh, queue it up in a software program that I have. And I was able to go ahead and uh, and I was able to go ahead and edit it. And I was able to listen to to that file and get a sense of how the book is going to sound as an audio book. And and naturally, it, you know, it's like it's like giving birth. It's it's really exciting. Um, to hear something that you uh, that you worked so hard on and and that you loved as as much as I as I am invested in this book come out even better. Like the blog post yesterday, like Sadie said about art, when you do something and and you're not sure how it's going to come out, and then it really comes out better than you ever imagined it would. It's that really good feeling that you get. That's what my granddaughter said, and she was right. And that's the feeling that I had when I was listening back to the uh, audio file once I edited it in together and got it done. Now, I'm not the one who's who's speaking. I'm not the one who's narrating. And I'm not going to tell you anything about the narrator until the book is ready to go out. But I've got to tell you, it's, it's an amazing piece of work that he's doing, and I'm really excited about it. Um, 
So uh, stay tuned to the station for that. It's going to be it's going to be really um, it's going to be terrific. I'm I'm really excited about that, and I'm excited about the fact that it's all working out the way it should, and uh, that that it that it it sounds the way I envisioned it would sound in my head. Um, and we haven't even really gotten to the character characterizations yet. So uh, stay with me, bulletins as they break. Uh, tomorrow's a City of Hope Day. I get to see an endocrinologist. And uh, I'll tell you why I've seen the endocrinologist after I see him, because I'm not 100% sure myself, except that I'm sure it has something to do with the transplant and chemical imbalances that are that are, you know, a result of the GVHD and what have you. But I'll give you more of that information tomorrow. In the meantime, stay well, take care. Um, have a happy Tuesday. Talk to you tomorrow.